Okay, so we're going to calibrate our hatch um, pH reader pocket probe. Um, so in order to do that, make sure you have your reader, um, maybe a bowl, paper towels, um, some DI water or tap water, clean top water to go ahead and clean your reader, and then making sure you have your buffer. So you need your seven buffer, um, which is usually yellow, your four buffer, which is red, and your 10 buffer, which is blue. Um, there's expiration dates on these buffers, and this one I have as for 9422. This is at the bottom of this here. So, um, so we'll get right at it. You know what equipment you have now. So to go ahead and get started, go ahead and turn on your pH reader. Right, there it goes, it's on. And then uh, make sure it's ready to go ahead and be calibrated. So hit that circle button right here, hold it down, and then select, right? It says select, go ahead and hit the circle button one more time. It says units, you're done. Um, press it again, and you'll, it'll say buffer R. You want the units to say USA at the bottom, so you've got that. Um, and then it says um, automatic off. Um, you have that on, so it's, it's, that's one of the settings I wanted to turn off by itself. Um, next one, press it again. And it says automatic calibration on, so I want it to automatically calibrate when I'm ready to do so. So that's on. And then the next one is just, you know, if you want to go back and reselect, it's on. Um, and then once you're done with that portion, hold down that circle button for a while. And then it ends and we're done. We're ready to go ahead and start calibrating. All right. So um, once you've, once it says end and you're ready to calibrate, hit that circle button one more time, just really for like a second. And at the bottom, you see it says seven. And that's when we're ready to go ahead and start calibrating. We'll go ahead and take the cap off, get your number seven buffer, the yellow one. Go ahead and fill the cap up to that um, line or arrow or to the top of those plastic thingies there. Once you've got that there, you go ahead and place the reader into the cap and just watch for the um, reader to say what it is. Now I've already calibrated this, so that's why you see 7.0. But um, if you haven't calibrated it, it might say 8 point something, 7.7, 7.6. That's perfectly fine. It's just going ahead and this is your baseline. So it wants to find that baseline. So when it's reading that, it's gonna, it's gonna say 7 point something. That's perfectly fine. If you have that seven, that means you're ready to be calibrated. You're, you're pretty much dialed in, but we're gonna double check. So, um, so if it says like 7.3, that's fine. Um, once you've got that um, in there to that yellow buffer right here, hit that circle button right here for a second. And then it starts blinking that 7.0 or 7.3 or whatever it is starts to blink. And it switches to 7.1. I don't know why it just does. But at the bottom one, it's going to say 10.01 or 4.01 switching back and forth. It's gonna ask you which one you wanna use first, a four or a 10. So um, before we do, do to the go to the four or 10 buffer, go ahead and empty out the contents of the lid into a bowl or wherever's appropriate and clean your, your reader really quick here, your DI water and maybe dry it with a paper towel. And then also clean your lid as well. All right, so get that lid clean. Dry the lid a little bit here too. All right, so we got that done. And you can choose either the 10 or the four. I'm gonna go with the four first, the red one. The four buffer, fill it up again to the line or to the arrow or to your plastic. And then automatically it's gonna choose, it's gonna notice whether you need four, the reader's gonna notice if you're gonna do a four or 10. And then you wait for it to read 
and it should read 4.0 in a little while here. And once it does read 4.0, then you're going to hit that circle button again. So give it a little time. Just It, it needs to calibrate. So let it calibrate. There it goes, 4.0. And so it says 4.0, and going to hit that circle button again, and the 4.0 is going to blink. There you go. All right, go ahead and release the contents out again from your cap. Give it another rinse with your DI water or your clean water here. And give it a nice pat down dry. Your lid. Clean that up. All right, that. And then go ahead and get your blue 10 buffer. Pour it in. Okay. And then take your reader and drop it in and wait for it to read 10.0. So while you're waiting, you can go ahead and um, put the lids back on and um, yeah, just let it do its magic and it'll read 10.0. And once it reads 10.0, again, you hit that circle button, and um, it should say N at the very 10.0. I hit the sit circle button, let it go back to 10.0. Sometimes a little bit of movement may change it up. 10.0, I'm gonna hit that circle button. The circle button, let go, blinks and end. We're done. We have calibrated our pH reader. That's it.